Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to Idol and as you can see I have a lot of stuff with me. My backpack and some extra because today I'm going to be a seller there. So it's the first time I have been planning to do that a few months ago but it was cancelled actually twice because of the coronavirus but this time it's on so I'm going there a bit earlier than normal to be able to see what's going on and then put all my stuff, prepare my booth and everything. So I don't know uh, what I'm going to be able to show you today, but anyway, uh, hopefully it's going to be fun, finger crossed. So talk to you later. Guys, I made it to the idol and this is my place. So I need to put everything up and when I'm done, I'm gonna show that to you. And I have a few dolls, so I'm gonna also create like a small picture booth so that people if they bring that all they can take picture with mine oh i'm fogging up here so anyway so that's the plan so uh, this is a big uh, room and it's like i'm kind of in the middle so that's pretty nice anyway so let me let me get settled So guys, I'm done preparing the booth. So here is the booth. And I'm going to show that to you a little bit like closer up. So I have several things. So let me show you. I have some Azon clothes. And two Azon dolls that have never been opened. I have a collection of gacha phones. So that would be like the Anthony, which is this one and the uh, Ichi, which is here, Koichi and Nyo Nyo. So I have, I have quite a bit. And then I made crocheted ads with paper uh, yarn that you probably saw in the picture recently. <laughs> then I have little sweaters. So those actually goes on Lin Fairy. You can see here on Lin Fairy. Lin Fairy and the frogs here. Then I have this um, Cardigan, which goes on Lil Fairy and Holly, surprisingly. And then I have jumpers that are a bit bigger, so they are good for like pure Nemo and Holly. And basically, you can also put them on Lil Fairies, especially that they have like different sizes, like for the length. So you can put them on Lil Fairies. And basically, that's about it. And I have clovers so amigurumi that I made and here is the display so the doll I brought with me today and there is an empty seat in the middle in case someone wants to take a picture of my dolls and my card so basically that's that's what I have today so I think it's pretty cool I think for the first time it's not too bad Guys, this is what I look like. I need to have this like face shield on top of my mask. And as you can see, uh, like we are halfway through almost. And as you can see, it's like empty. There is like basically nobody. Normally, it's almost difficult to pass one one foot in front of the other. But today, it's just like it's just emptiness after emptiness, like both sides basically. So it's just so very, very strange. So I'm gonna try and take some pictures and show that to you anyway.
So guys, as you can see, I'm back home and I haven't had some sleep and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Idol. It was a very weird Idol. Uh, there was about nobody there. So it was a bit disturbing because, you know, like normally I just walk around and I move like like I, I do the tour of the entire room and I take picture of every booth and basically I can take maybe like 10 or 12 pictures uh, on one side of one row and then go back and do the same and like that goes for like the entire alphabet plus some letters uh, like Japanese characters but this time um, I don't even know how many rows I was, but I was D and I was almost in the middle. So if you can imagine that, um, that's not much. So in front of me was the um, tutorial space. So basically Idol is um, not just Idol, it's Andol, uh, Idol and, and Market. And the tutorial space is like people who uh, make little things. So I, there was like a person making um, like trees, like a vivarium type of thing, but like fake one. So it cannot be vivarium if it's fake. Like, you know, like, like a little display with trees and gardens. And uh, some other people normally make like furnitures and some people do the sewing and I think one person took one tutorial in front of me like nobody else like that they, there wasn't like nobody at the tutorial the entire day um, a lot of um, a lot of tables were empty which means like people who actually registered to be a seller there didn't come there was no, like none at all, uh, foreigner companies. I was like the only foreigner company because I register like in English, so from the foreigner side. But there was no other foreigner company, like no Korean, no Chinese, nothing. There was only one big Japanese company, which is Good Smile, and nothing else. So no ball joint doll, nothing else. Uh, it was just very very weird. So so first you have like this big big um, Space between the table in between so like normally it just like the, the corridors like I'm gonna call it are like so full of people like sometimes you can just barely Walk around sometimes you can't even like some booths You can never actually see what's there because it's just so full of people at all time and this time you could just walk around and never bump into anyone. Uh, you had like those huge corridors, so I guess it's really good to keep people separated. And then normally you have like all those booths, like I told you, like maybe 10 or 12 in one row. And this time like we had one, two, three, we had five. So half of the booth uh, on, on one row. Well, I mean, it's on two days. So basically, there we are expecting the same amount of sellers as on one day, but put it on two days. But I don't even think that's, that's even the thing. And, like, what else happened? Um, so I did, I did the tour. So there was, like, on the other side, not my side, but on the other side, it was a little bit more crowded. Not as crowded as a normal event. But like, like it was crowded. Like the seller area work was crowded. The um, the people, like when I saw them enter, like like what, what we, we we all prepared our things and we were all ready at eleven, and then the people start entering, and we we just clapped, like welcome guys. And I was I was expecting like when I when I do it as a buyer, we queue for like half an hour outside past the time because the time for everyone to actually get in. But in in five minutes everybody was inside. And it was like, 
I don't know, 40, 50 people. And it was so very strange. And like some other people came during the day, but not that much. So it, w it was a very empty idol. Um, to give you a comparison, the first time I went to Aka Garden, which was like super tiny, was bigger. Like, like, like there were more people in a smaller, smaller room, but more people. Like, like this, this idol was like the equ equivalent of idol in Yokohama, but in three times the space. It, it was, it was just crazy. It was just uh, so. So that, that's that's how it it uh, it was. Uh, there was a few interesting things. I took I took some pictures. Well, you you gonna see as well as the amount of pictures that I, I took. Um, that's that's like definitely not as many as usual, and it's not because I was busy at my booth. It it's just because there was nothing there to be taken picture of. Like, it was just so empty. So, so that's um, that's it. So. Uh, instead, guys, what I did after that, because I thought that this video was going to be very short, I went to Akihabara and I took picture of everything. They didn't have an expo there, but you're gonna see what's uh, on in the Azon store at least. So here you go.